Hey everybody, it's Chris from Steeda, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to install the Steeda MagnaRide controller for your MagnaRide equipped Mustang. I'm not gonna go over a product review because we have done an in-depth video all about this MagnaRide controller from development all the way to production, and ultimately what you can expect when you get this MagnaRide controller hooked up to your Mustang. So be sure to check out that full video for the full in-depth overview on this controller. One thing I do wanna point out is that this particular controller is gold and what we will be shipping out to you is gold. However, the R&D controller that you saw in that overview video is black. Regardless of the color of the actual controller case, you will be getting the same Steeda high performance calibration for your Mustang. So installation is super easy of this MagnaRide controller, so we're gonna show you how to do it step by step on this GT350. Here are the tools required for your installation. First thing you want to do is pop the trunk in the rear and then go ahead and open the hood and disconnect the negative battery terminal. You want to pop the trunk first because it uses the battery voltage to pop the trunk. Once you're back in the trunk area, you can remove the trunk mat out of the rear, set it aside, and then you can move to the plastic surround in the rear of the trunk. There are four hand nuts that you need to get loose in order to get that plastic panel removed. Be careful pulling it out. There's a series of clips along the top edge near where the trunk latches that you'll need to pull up on in order to get the panel out of the car. If your car is equipped with a subwoofer, you need to get the subwoofer out of the way in order to get access to the area to replace your factory MagnaRide controller with the Steeda unit. First, you want to remove the bottom panel with the three Torx bolts holding it in. There's another Torx up top and then the two bolts holding it to the floor. Once those are all removed, you're able to slide the sub out of the way. Then there's a Christmas tree plastic push pin up top. You can pull that out and pull the carpet aside. Now you'll see where your factory MagnaRide controller is located. You can see the two bolts that are holding the bracket in the place where the MagnaRide controller is connected. In the 350, you can see that there's, it's a vertical bracket going up along the frame rail. On the other hand, when we were testing the Mach 1 that we found, that the factory bracket was actually a different shape and utilizing one of those other holes. Regardless, if you need to get access to one of those holes and there's a plastic sticker on top, just go ahead and peel that off and set it aside. The clip itself on the connector clips into place. As you pull that clip up, the connector slowly removes itself from the controller. Then once it's fully up into place and makes a 90 degree angle, you can begin pulling the entire connector out of the MagnaRide controller. Now you'll see the connector on the top and the controller on the bottom. Pay attention to the two rows and the one row. You want to make sure that this is lined up properly when you're connecting your Steeda MagnaRide controller. Again, check the pins, make sure everything's lined up. Carefully push the connector into your controller and then pull down on the lever and let the clip pull the entire connector into your controller. You'll hear it click once it's latched. Then you're ready to bolt down the bracket using the factory hardware. At this point, you're ready to reverse the installation process, put the carpet back into place, your plastic panel, then your trunk mat, and your installation is complete. Like I said, it really was a super easy installation. The hardest part is if you do have a subwoofer in your MagnaRide equipped Mustang, it will take a couple extra steps. But aside from that, once you have this in your car, you are ready to roll. Hit the ignition and start driving. Check out those different driving modes and how the MagnaRide adapts. It's very cool. Comment below and let us know what your thoughts are on the MagnaRide controller. We spent a lot of time developing this thing, so we wanna hear your thoughts. Hit that like and subscribe button, the notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.